Hey all, Sandra here with you today and I want to show you how to create such a wonderful scene with a volcano builder die, some stencils, a grass border and yes, I hope we have a lot of fun coloring and I think we should get started. Okay, the products we're using are the house plant builder dies, the desert dies, volcano builder die, the desert landscape stencil, and the cloud stencil builder. Okay, I already die cut it all my 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 die cuts, and at first I'll cut off the plant pot. So it looks like grass. Then we'll start with the grass, the grass border and the cactus. So we'll need YG markers. Y G 91, 93, 95 and 97 and we'll start with Y G 91 and make or do the first layer on the grass border so there are nearly no wet no wet spaces okay let me check on camera if you can see everything yes you can then um we'll go on here just add a little bit of color we'll do some more layers later while coloring I thought it would be fun to show you how to build a background with the dyes and how I color them up with my Copics. And not to show a coloring of a stamp because all the others do so. And maybe you can combine the coloring you did on your stems with a scene you create with me if you want and if you like. Just add some strokes here. Do the same on the oops, on the grass. You needn't do it till the end because we will hide it behind the grass. So it is okay to just add a few, few strokes. And I use, put it here, YG93. I was waiting the whole day for recording the video to get a bit, a bit sunlight. It's, it's really really dark and rainy here again but it is it is warm it is it is really warm we have 13 degrees celsius i don't know what it is in fahrenheit i should need to look it up but it is warm and the grass is green outside we have small flowers blossoming and it's it's really cool but the weather forecast was was telling us that it will be a bit colder the next days. But I don't mind. I'm on night shift the next day, so I will be sleeping a day, <laughs> working at night. So I don't care if it is cold or warm. It is dark. <laughs> it's dark when I work. It's dark when I come home. So it's okay. Then we go on with YG97. And add some more 
strokes here. Yeah, I think I'll get my YG99 marker out because it is it's too too light. The grass has not a lot structure and shadows. I think it would look better to add a darker color. Okay, so I'll take my YG99. So let's add some. Okay, it's not real, really a lot more darker. But it is okay. some strokes here too and can set it aside so we'll hide some grass behind the border and when we create our scene. I'll show you where the remaining grass will go in. Let's do the cactus. We start with YG91 again. And I'm adding a bit of color, trying to leave a white space where the stitching is so this will be the lightest part on the cactus i'm adding a darker color yg 97 for shadows I just recognize that my fingers are really, <laughs> really pink and red. <laughs> it is because I, I had a look at my markers, which, which marker I went to use um, in the video. And I thought, oh no, they are so dirty. <laughs> I have to clean my greens and my reds. And um, yes, it ended up with colorful fingers. And I also refilled some of my markers. So they work better and blend, blend better. Dry markers doesn't, didn't, doesn't, they nee, don't. Dry markers don't, not doesn't, don't, don't blend really, really, really well. It's better to have a lot of ink in them. Okay. Go on with y g ninety three I hope the light is okay. I'm sitting in the kitchen, and I think there is always a shadow when I'm coloring from my hand, but I hope you can see you can still see everything. Just blend a little bit and leave a small, or try to leave, if it's not working, it's no problem, leave a small weight space here. Okay, I'm adding a bit more shadow with YG99.
YG93 to blend in again just a little bit. And I'm using YG91 and blend a little bit more in so there is really a small and thin white line but you can you can add a white line if you want with a jelly roll too so you can color all at you can color up the whole cactus and add, if you want, a white line later to have some highlights. I think I go with that. I can show you. Okay. And I set it aside. And I have a look at the grass border again and I'm using YG99 because I still think it is too too light but hmm. adding some more dark strokes just a few with YG99 yes okay and I'll do the same here. Okay, that's okay. So we go on with um, the rocks. Um, we color up the rocks with E50, 51, 53, 55, and can you see it? Yes, 57. And we start with E50 and just add a first layer. Okay. Then using E53 to add a little bit of shape, just a bit to the rocks so same with the larger one i hope you can see everything i'm checking on my mobile Just divide one rock into some some more rocks, so it's not one big, a big one, but it's divided into some some smaller, and it looks more more interesting, I think. Okay, I'll go on with E fifty five. And add the more shading here. Oh, I think I should have refilled this marker too. It doesn't blend really, really well. And it's, um, I think it's smears. Does, does it, um, is that the right word? I think so. just messy messy strokes just to have a bit structure and I decided to 
to color my my rocks in brown shades tones tone color <laughs> and not in gray um, because I want to create a volcano scene that is a bit desert desert like go on with 53 wrong side let's change to the correct side and I blend the other color just a little a little bit I use E51 and blend a little bit more, leaving only small, small white, white spaces. Just blend. Oops. Okay. I'm using E53 again. E fifty seven to redo some some lines, just a few. Okay. E fifty five to blend. Lines fifty three again and blend a bit more. I know a lot of color. <laughs> I'm always using a lot of color. Yes. I have to refill my copics really, really, really often because I use so much color. If you are not satisfied with the blending, you can just blend a bit more as I'm doing it here. But I think it is okay, it looks great. Okay, then um, go on with E57. And we're adding some small dots, only small. Okay. I don't know what's going on. If you hear the music, I don't know where it is from. That wasn't planned on my video. I think it's it's from the outside. Okay, now the doorbell is ringing and I have to stop. Okay, let's go on. I <laughs> I paused paused the video. <laughs> was at the door. It was Amazon <laughs> um, bringing a package and the. Um, the driver of the car was or um, had had the music really really loud yes really loud okay these are our our rocks okay we set aside and we go on with the volcano um, volcano will be colored with the same colors starting with E50 adding a first layer as we did before Mm, let me have a look. E53. Just 
chest. You won't see this later because the grass border will go over it. We're just blending or, or adding a bit of structure. Oh, yes, I have to refill it. You can hear it. It is, um, what is it in, in English? In German, the word is quietschen. Es quietscht. It's like eek, eek. <laughs> It's horrible. It's really horrible. Okay, we blend with E53. Just add. Okay, okay, I have to refill this marker too. As you can see, it doesn't blend really, really well and it is not enough color in the or on the tip. So we can't blend the strokes. Really good. Go on with E51. I try to blend here a little bit, but uh, no, it's not working really, really well. But I see <laughs> this marker is empty too. Okay, maybe I have to pause again and <laughs> refill, refill my markers. I'm using E53 again. Uh, trying to get the last of the ink onto my paper. Uh, okay, it's it's working, it's working. And we blend with E50. Over it. Okay, we'll, we'll go with it, we'll go with it. It is okay, it is okay. Um, adding some points with E or dots with E57, just a few wherever you want to have them using E55, uh, 50, <laughs> 55, <laughs> 55, oh yes, okay, E51 to blend out and Add a bit more detail and structure, but it is okay. It is okay. We go on with the uh, um, what is it in English? Is it lava? And we when um, before we glue it onto here, we'll add darker color to the top because it is in the back is behind it and it is a bit darker just add some color with E57 it doesn't matter how it looks on on the um, how it looks there I don't know the word at the moment because we'll glue it over over it so it is absolutely okay but but I need some more color. It is too, I think it is too light here. So I add, can you see it? Just, uh, okay, I don't know, just a small, small strokes here. And blend again, just a little bit to have a darker, edge here. That's okay. Yes, we go on here. We have these little little drops too. They will be here and here. And I color them with R27 first. It's a bit tricky and um, Yes, your fingers will get good red. <laughs> and I'm leaving a white, white space here, but you can also use a white fine liner or jelly pen, jelly roll pen to add a white line or white dots later.
Then I go on with R46. And darken the bottom, ah, the bottom of these drops. And we're, oops. Just a little bit. And we blend out with R29. You can also use one color only if you want. It's, it's just me <laughs> using a lot of color as always. It's just me. Okay. Put them aside. And we go on with this one using a light a light light red first or a more a more light red not not such a dark red with R24 um, and um, adding some lines here and on the top just to to do, um, I know some call it shadow mapping, to have a look where the darkest, the darkest um, stellen, where this place, the darkest place on that die cut will be. I'm putting it here so you can have a better look. Uh, I go on with R59. I redo my lines I'm blending with R forty six. make that noise too. Why? I filled this marker up some minutes before. Okay, we go on with R27. And we use R24. Just small white, white lines. And I blend with R29 a little bit here, or I try. Red is always a bit difficult if you have too much color. Okay, it's not working. Oh, let's try. Oh, that's why it's not working. Let's try. Okay, then we don't blend with R29. You, you can blend with it, but I use um, R27 now because it has more, more color and blend a little bit more. And I use R24 again for another layer, but then we are done with, with all the layers. And I'm using my white jelly pan to add some white interesting dots here. Just that it looks a bit more interesting and has a little, a little bit more structure. So that is 
there we go, the volcano. And we will, when or after we had glue, we, we, we glued it to the volcano, we add some shadow here, or we can do it now. I'm using E55. adding some just a little bit shadow here but we'll redo it when it is glued now we'll color the cloud with my n markers but you can use c or t or w um, it doesn't matter what 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 gray you want to use oh my grass um, it's really up to you, but I use, I'm using the N ones, starting with N0 and adding some structure into that, I think, dust, dust cloud or dirt cloud, so you can see it here. Go on with, oh, I think, N, N3. I always start light, with light colors, and decide if I use or go in with, with a darker one. Okay, we blend with N2 or C2 or T2, whatever you are using, it works the same. It's just a different gray tone. Is it, is it the right word, gray tone? And I have to confess, I still have no stamp anything glue. <laughs> I forgot to order, so I, I'll i use my Tombow. <laughs> but as you know, you should buy that cool, <laughs> that cool glue. Oh no! Ah, my fingers were red and... <laughs> okay, we have... Can you see it? Wait, we have... A, uh, we have red marks on the cloud. Okay, it is what it is. It It is a stamp anything video and there has to be a mistake, right? So there is there is one. Okay, I blend out with um, N0. If you want, you can use a colorless blender too, but you can leave with spaces as I did here. Uh, I'm using N3 again. I think I won't use N4. I thought I would would use it, but nope, I don't use it. Adding a bit more shadow here and trying to cover to cover the red the red mistakes, the red dots. But it it's okay if it if it doesn't work. No one will notice. I think if I hadn't Told, tell, to, told you. You wouldn't have. You wouldn't have seen it. Is it correct English? Uh, English English grammar is difficult, but I know German grammar is it's horrible. It's way more more difficult. Okay, go in with N one, adding some more shades, and we will blend out with N zero. Go on here. So, I think I'm fine. Ah, oh, we will use N4 because we will add some dark dots with N4. And we'll use our jelly roll to add some, wait, 
dots or points, marks, whatever, to. So it looks really, really interesting. I could show you. Okay, here it is. So we have colored everything we need. Now let's go on with ink blending and putting the background together. Okay, here we go. I have my foam tape one and two moment one and two millimeters thick my glue my color my ink cubes it's azure and pecan my brushes my scissors and the stencils okay the card base is um let me write it to the paper i think it is called five three quarter oh, my writing is as horrible with comics <laughs> five three quarter by five and a half Whoa, horrible really horrible five three quarter five and a half and we will start with the clouds Check. Begin with ledger ones here in the edge. And just adding a lot of color. I go on with the smallest stencil. Blend a little bit. Okay, I'm using this one to blend here to the middle and go on. Oh, yeah, can you see everything? I think you can't think it's better now. Okay, then I will use this one again, take a bit of color, not too much, and add another layer of clouds. But it's really up to you, it's up to you what color you're using, in what way you're blending, and I blend out just a little bit. Okay, then we'll need the desert landscape and we'll add just, just a little bit on the bottom just to have a little bit of structure here it doesn't need to be too much just oops ah, okay <sighs> i <laughs> yeah it looks great i think we have to cover it with the with the image <laughs> uh, it's always the same i'm i'm not I'm not the queen of ink blending. I'm definitely not the queen of ink blending. It is um, always funny with me, I think. It's, it's really always funny. Because I have no patient, patience. Patience? Is it patience the right word? To do it slowly and in time and enjoy. <laughs> What I'm doing? No, I don't like I don't like ink blending because I always mess it up. Really, always. You can see it here. I mess it up. Okay, so you know it won't be a stamp anything video if Sandra <laughs> doesn't mess up. Didn't? No, it doesn't. Doesn't mess up ink blending. Okay, but I think we 
we can oh, it's really annoying it's really meh. we can go with it okay i will show you what we'll do now we need the grass border this grass border will be here i'm thinking about a little bit more <laughs> blue here but i'm afraid that uh, when i go in with a more ink i will destroy my base okay this will be here. I just show it what we are, what we will do. We're adding oops, the volcano here. Maybe we have to switch it or get it a bit to the bottom. Yes, I think we have to. Ooh, okay, just a little bit so it fits. That is a volcano. We will add one grass here. Here, okay, then we have our rocks. The rocks we go in front to here. We'll add our cactus grass, maybe in the back. You can do it in the way you like or you want to do it. Add some grass here. We have another grass. What is bushel? I have I have to look look up the word for this one. For this one. In German it's called bushel, grass bushel. And we then add these small Oh no <laughs> Uh, do you see? Yeah, it's red again. I think I I still have red fingers. Okay, you won't do that. It's only me doing doing such <laughs> such color mistakes. It's the same as on my Love You Went video. I messed up with the colors too. Okay, and that will be our background. If you want, you can make everything darker or a bit lighter. Just, um, just how you like it or you want it. And um, if you have an already colored up image, you could add it here. Put a sentiment there, or you 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 turn the the size, um, nee, not the size, the side of the of the rocks to the other side. Just. Um, how you like it. Okay. Um, what I'm doing is I glue. Okay, let's move it a bit. I glue. Oops. Oh, it's a lot of glue. <laughs> it's a bit too much. Just a little bit too much. Glue it here. And as I uh, I messed it up. It's always the same with me. It's it's really funny. Um, I added, you can see dark lines here, and just blend them a little bit, just a little bit. And, but I add with E57 a small, small shadow here. Just a small. So, okay. And a little bit of darkness here. Okay. So, yep. Okay, we will add this volcano here. So, the cloud fits above it and I'm using my foam tape. You can use glue only, you can use foam tape. It's really it's really up it's really up to you what you want to to use. But I'm using some foam tape so it gets a uh, 
3D. Look, I hope you can see everything. On, I think I'm too too near at the bottom. I haven't checked my video, so I hope it is okay. Uh, no, no, I don't want. Okay, we have to put it here. I don't want to put it there <laughs> ah, because it is um, chief. It's not um, what is the word? It's not gerade, but it is what it is. So we have a bit of this here, but but haha, we will cover it with some grass, so no no one will notice. Um, I glue the grass to the bottom of the volcano, but I add a little small piece of foam tape here too, because the grass border would, um, would be... Um, it wouldn't look good. <laughs> the word is missing again. Uh, it's it's really funny with me. And I add another small piece here. Okay. Some glue to the bottom. And we add the bottom, the grass border. It's okay. And to hide <laughs> this one, we add just some grass in the back. So it is okay. No one will ever notice or see that I made mistakes there it is okay um, I glue one rocket to the bottom of my card and I'm Putting some grass behind just and using my foam tape again to get a 3D look so it is more in front. front of the rock behind oops so you can put it here okay and we can add our cactus just in the back. You can add it here. If you want, you can add foam tape to the back, but I, I thought it is okay to not use. We'll add some grass here. Okay, and we have another grass left over. We could there <laughs> to cover the the, the um, stenciling but you can also glue it here I think I I glue it here just just um, put it where you want to have it or where you think it looks great okay let's glue our red drops Let's have a look. I think here I only 
make <laughs> it's not working as I want a small ooh, a small dot yes I could use scissors but <laughs> I'm breaking my fingers when I'm using scissors it's it's horrible it's really really horrible you won't you won't nee, you you don't want to see that no you don't want to see that I'm sure you don't want to see that and one a little bit nearer to the volcano. Just okay. Mm. It's a little bit too much of glue. But it okay, it's it's on the card. So it is okay. And now I add foam tape to the cloud. Oops. I'm making noise to the cloud. And put it over the volcano. Here we are. Okay. And your backdrop is ready can show you that can you see it i think it is it is really really beautiful and as i said don't make <laughs> such such mistakes i did here and um yes the grass border is a bit um wonky not not straight not straight it's not straight but um it's still cool and nice okay um, if there are any questions, please leave me a comment and I'll try to answer them as fast as possible. Have fun and a great day. Bye.